This video is to show off my new torpedo trumpet case. It's so nice. I was thinking about ordering one for a while and I just hadn't because of the price tag on it. Finally ordered one. I'm so glad I did. So I'm actually going to do this in reverse. I already took everything out. So there's my trumpet. It fits in just like that. Super thick foam. I'll show you in a second. Before I do, all of this stuff is what's inside the trumpet case. And I'll show you how it fits in there. So we start off, got to put our axe in. Oh, there we go. And on the top of the case, you can see it's a very small case. This is the, the basic part of the case. It does, has no add-ons right now, except the shoulder strap. I like my shoulder strap. You got this little compartment, and the inside, it's got a thick layer of foam right here, and that's going to, I guess, uh, cushion it a little more from shock. Something hits it from the top. So I put my horn in there. Oh, and I guess I should also show you the top of this. You can see my little CU sticker. Woo! Go Buffs! Yeah, not our football team, just jazz program. That's about it. We don't have a football team. Anyway, you know, I didn't want to put my name tag. I don't do name tags. They're kind of cheesy. Nah. But this sticker, kind of cool. Kind of hip, right? So I got my little compartment on top. In this compartment, I'm going to put one valve oil, two valve oil, three valve oil, slide grease, as well as a 7C mouthpiece when I need to sound like a flugelhorn or darken my plane or I forget my mouthpiece. I don't know. It's so just another random mouthpiece. It's kind of irrelevant, honestly. And I have two extra AAA batteries for my metronome. I'll go ahead and zip those up. Put it on. And uh, close our guy up right here. So this is what it looks like by itself. The shoulder strap has a, I ordered a little compartment on it that has a mouthpiece. This is honestly uh, one of my favorite things about it. You know, mouthpiece fits right in there. I don't have to be digging around through stuff in rehearsals. As well in this pouch, there's two little things on it in the bottom of them. I got more blue juice. I think four bottles should be enough for my first cruise contract, probably. As a size comparison, this is a base amp. This is my torpedo bag. It's not a not a very large bag at all. Oh, also, they say you can run a small car over it. I haven't tried it because look at this leather. Look at this. Why would why would I run this over? But I'm just saying you could theoretically. And uh, it should keep TSA out of your bag in the airport. I mean, they'd have to literally take a sledgehammer to get to it. I plan on buying a little lock for my two zippers up uh, right here. So uh, no TSAs are going to be going through my trumpet, which I don't plan on checking it in, but you never know. They like to try to, you know, mess with your horns when you go through the airport. TSA, folks. So the next part of this package is a music pouch. In this music pouch, I'm going to put my Arbenz book. It's not the silver one. No, it's the red one. The real, the, the red one. You know what I'm talking about. And I have about, uh, this, uh, it's like 150 different tunes. Uh, these are all tunes I'm working on tunes I ripped out of my real books that uh, I figure I'm probably going to need at some point. I need to learn these soon, so I have all these loose leaf in here. 
put these bad boys in that Arvin's book. Zip it up. I don't know the specifications, but they have like some uh, type of crazy reinforced zippers, which if you look at zipper right here, then you look at that zip. This one is clearly a lot smaller. You know, it's just a normal size zipper, but this zipper, I mean, look at that. You can see it with the light silhouette in it. It's pretty, pretty decently sized. And you also have a little pencil pouch, pencil pen pouch right on the side. Uh, you can hold four pens, pencils, whatever. So, I'm going to go ahead and attach this guy. So we zip that up on the side, and we're going to go ahead and strap this on. Now I typically won't put all of this music in it, quite a bit of music, but just to show you, this can hold uh, quite a bit of music, and it's right attached to the horn. Next part is the mute bag. That will be attached right here. You can see... One strap, and two strap. Anyway, got my mute bag. Fortunately, I don't need to bring a wide assortment of mutes with me on the ship, thankfully. I got my cup. I have my straight mute, my plunger, And my Harmon stem. <laughs> Who even has that? Who carries that? And I have my practice mute. Yes, this is a wine cork. But if you put it in the horn here, you have to kind of sand it down a little bit, then drill a hole. Uh, the first one went pretty badly. The second one went significantly better. Anyway. Excellent practice mute, and it only costs the cost of a corkscrew. Get uh, one of those grinding wheels, grind it down, drill a hole in it, boom. Better practice mute than a silent brass. It's an amazing, amazing practice mute. So, I got my Harman mute in there. I got my two different wine corks, two different practice mutes, boom. And some disposable... Uh, you know, ear savers. You know, never know when uh, you're going to be sitting next to someone really bad and you don't want to hear them play, so you put those bad boys in. And I have another bottle of valve oil because I, I think I'm bringing too much on the ship. And yeah, why not bring five bottles of valve oil? Last couple items. I have metronome number one. A uh, little voice recorder, a uh, little, you know, tape recorder, record me practicing, pretty good quality. I'd strongly suggest, uh, you know, record yourself, it's very useful. A mouthpiece visualizer, I, I don't know why I have this, I, yeah, I don't really know why I have that. Uh, this is something one of my kids gave me at camp, a camp I worked at a couple years ago at, I don't know, it reminds me, you know, of camp, so I keep that glow stick with me. I have another thing of ear protectors, and I have some pliers. These are excellent for getting stuck mouthpiece out. Uh, get a, a towel, like a white washcloth, wrap it around the mouthpiece, and you can get more uh, tension on it when you're trying to pull it out without pulling the lead pipe out. And it's just good for fixing stuff overall. Problems, you know, it's, it's good for all of that. Then you got metronome number two. To never have too much time. Got a little coin thing. And uh, it's a little Chinese good luck ball. I used to have two of them, but I don't know where the second one went. I think someone stole it. Probably one of my kids at camp. Probably the same one with the score stick. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this bad boy on. One corner, two, 
two corner, three corner, and the leather for this case is absolutely phenomenal. It feels so good. I just got this in yesterday. Uh, I can't wait to really break this in though over the years. Uh, I'm very happy with this so far. And that's what it looks like with all of uh, the attachments. You know, pretty much a mute bag, you can take it off and it's a much smaller profile. But even with the mute bag, let's compare the base amp. It's, it's not really, you know, that that big in size, honestly. It's a very small case. By all accounts, it's, it's should you want to try to destroy it, it's very hard to destroy it. And, uh, you know, it's made very well. They got hand-stitched. Uh, you know, threading all through it. The Velcro's good quality. Uh, those the zippers are super heavy duty, and it's gonna protect your horn super well. Uh, you know, take it right now. Kick it a couple times. And uh, you know, my horn's fine. Now, those with astute observations might notice there's a couple things not straight on this horn. That has nothing to do with what I did just now. That, uh, say I, it was an accident. We'll call it an accident. Anyway, that's my torpedo case. I'm very, very happy with it. It looks really good. And, uh, you know, made one. These straps, super heavy duty. You know, you're gonna have a hard time uh, trying to break these straps at any point. You know, uh, but it's a very nice case. Its profile on the bottom is about as wide as a dinner plate. It's uh, less wide than a lot of dinner plates. And one of the best things about it you get a little bit tired in rehearsal. Maybe they just didn't bring the trumpet player a chair. You know how they do. It's a very comfortable seat, honestly. Uh, I like this a lot. It, I used to sit on some of my other cases. They weren't very comfy. This is comfortable. So, hope you enjoy. Uh, if you're thinking about getting a torpedo trumpet case, I would strongly suggest it. Well worth the cost. Uh, and I can't wait to get another great trumpet so I can buy another torpedo.